The Italian university town of Perugia is preparing for the invasion of dozens of journalists to cover the Amanda Knox murder trial. Satellite trucks are taking up positions in front of the courthouse, eager to get a shot of the 21-year-old American and her Italian boyfriend, Raffaele Solecito, both accused of murder, when they appear Friday morning. On November 2, 2007, British student Meredith Kircher was found in a puddle of blood on the floor of her bedroom. Her throat was slit, and she had been sexually assaulted. After an intense investigation, police arrested her roommate, Amanda, her boyfriend, Raffaele, and Rudy Guede of the Ivory Coast. Prosecutors say it was a case of drugs and sex games gone awry. Rudy Guede chose a fast-track trial and was sentenced in October to 30 years for sexual assault and murder. Since the murder, Amanda, with her fresh-faced good looks, has captured the world's attention. Fiorenza Sarzanini is a journalist for Italy's mainstream daily, Corriere della Sera. She has written a book based on details from Amanda's prison diaries and accounts of Amanda's friends. Amanda is a girl who catalyzes attention, who is capable of attracting the attention of the public and of newspapers and television, because Amanda has a thousand different faces. She is the one that says at six in the morning, I was there in the house of the scene of the crime when my friend was killed. And two hours later, she says, no, no, I dreamed it all. Speaking to her lawyer this week, Amanda said she is not afraid of the trial because Meredith was her friend and she did not kill her. Father Salo Scarabatoli is the prison chaplain. He thinks that all the public attention that Amanda Knox has been getting makes it difficult for her and makes the job harder for the judges. All these spotlights, all this noise can cause interference in the relationship with the defendant and the justice system. It can influence, can emphasize certain elements. I believe it does not even help the judges. The defense and prosecution have submitted the names of some 300 witnesses, including friends, family members, neighbors and police. But the most important testimony will probably come from Amanda herself. This court is set to become the center of a lengthy drama as they try to resolve the mystery of Meredith's murder and determine the destiny of Amanda Knox. Trisha Thomas, Associated Press, Perugia.